Welcome back to Inside the Heat. After foregoing college for the NBA draft, Rashard Lewis left his home in Houston, Texas for scenic Seattle, Washington. The teenage rookie had to adjust to life in a new city, as well as the fast-paced, grown-up NBA. But as he matured, so did his game. Rashard would ultimately spend nine seasons with the Supersonics, learning alongside two of the game's greatest players while leaving some marks of his own. Lewis credits some of his success in Seattle to the feelings he had all the way back on draft night. My whole thoughts was, I can't fail because I can't go to school. I don't want to go overseas and play. I think it just lit a fire under me. After the draft, as soon as I got back to Houston, I was in the gym the very next day. A lockout gave Lewis months to get acclimated to the NBA, but nothing could prepare him for his first official team practice. Well, I'm on the other side of the world. I don't know where I'm at, where I'm going. Uh, we had somebody pick us up. Me and Jelani McCoy was one of the other rookies. The driver that was picking us up was late. As soon as we walk into the gym, they're playing pickup. Gary Payton just stops the game and starts going off on me and Jelani. And we pointed at the driver like, it's his fault. He the one who got us here late. And he was like, I don't care. You got to be here on time. We here to work. And, just went off on us. I'm like, oh man, this is the NBA. <laughs> Another welcome to the NBA moment for Lewis came on February 9th, 1999, the night he made his Sonics debut. His first start came just two games later. A 16 forward from the Lee Belsic High School, number seven, Rashad. There he is, 19 <laughs> years old, sold out to Key Arena, and he started in the NBA. What was the most difficult adjustment coming right out of high school into the NBA? Obviously the most difficult adjustment was the physicality of the NBA, playing night in and night out against the grown men. Not only that, I was living on my own, so I had to find a way to feed myself. And, and you know, I'm eating cheeseburgers every day. I'm not eating the most healthy meal. Stolen inbounds, Peyton again, behind the back to Lewis, into the lane, double code. What was it like as a young man to be mentored by a, a certain Hall of Famer ahead in Gary Payton. I learned a lot from Gary. Gary's a great guy, one of the nicest guys off the court. But once he stepped on that court and he was serious and he was strictly business, he expected the best out of you. If you wasn't playing the best or doing the best, he would let you know. I can appreciate that. At, at first I was young and scared of him, but as the years went by, it made me tough. In 2003, Seattle traded Payton to the Milwaukee Bucks and Lewis got not only a new teammate in Ray Allen, but also a new role on the team. He was still trying to figure it out. He was learning on his own. It was his clear desire to want to be better. I wasn't the go-to guy, and they made the trade for Ray Allen. And he's one of those guys that really did help my game evolve to the next level. Here comes Ray Allen, kicks it out to Lewis. Lewis for three. It's good. I would get to the gym maybe an hour and a half before anybody showed up. And we would see him working in practice after practice before the game on his shot all the time. It got me in the gym even more to work on my game and work on my three-point shot. Over the months, he started coming in, he'd be in like 30 minutes after me. And so I've always been proud of uh, his progress because he was self-made. In his first All-Star appearance, Rashard Lewis. You're an All-Star in 2005. Talk about the sense of how you felt then uh, becoming an All-Star. You know, playing with Ray, um, I was borderline an All-Star a couple of times, but he told me, you know, it takes consistency to be an All-Star. And that's when I started really focusing in on, on the little things of, you know, giving 100% out on the court every single night. Later that year, the two All-Stars led the Sonics to the Western Conference semifinals before falling to the eventual NBA champion San Antonio Spurs. But Lewis's career continued to blossom. On March 13th, 2007, he tallied his 918th career three and earned a spot in Sonics history. Richard Lewis for the long gun, he got it, and he is Seattle's all-time leader now in triples. He just passed Gary Payton. And a well-deserved hand for Rashad Lewis. Crowd like that, young man. How much did you enjoy your time in Seattle with the Sonics and living in a beautiful, beautiful city? I loved it. Seattle's a basketball town. The Seattle fans were great. You know, they supported us through great years when we made the playoffs, and they even supported us when the years when we wasn't playing so well. It's just something I would never forget.